Take two. So we've had a lot of requests asking us to talk about our table, our setup, how we do what we do here. And so here it is. This is our table. It's a four by eight CNC plasma table. And we've had it for about two years. And in all honesty, when we got this table, we didn't know anything about CNC plasma. We didn't know anything about, but we knew a little bit about CAD design, but we didn't know anything about Mach 3, about generating G codes any of that stuff. So over the last two years and through a lot of trial and error, we've gotten to the point where we're able to do it pretty regularly and without fails. Um, so talk about the table. It's a four by eight table. This is called a waterbed. And inside this waterbed are these slats. Now these are consumables. And there's a lot of consumables in this table. And we'll talk about them all. But these slats, this is what the, the steel actually sits on or the material that you're cutting sits on. And as you're cutting, the torch goes through the material that you cut and through the slats. So these things get beat up. They get dross on them. They get cut. And over time, we have to replace these. Now we have the file where this table cuts these slats out, the replacement slats for itself, which is really nice. And in fact, this is one of the machines that could actually build itself. If, minus the torch, because that's a separate piece, this machine, we could build, rebuild this machine with this machine, which is pretty cool. Not quite as cool as the bridge port, but still pretty cool. So let's talk about the torch and the torch head. So this is a hypertherm 45 XP, and we'll look at how we have that mounted and how we do that. And this is the torch head. Now this is called what's this is what's called a floating head. As you can see, it moves up and down, and it also has this motor that adjusts the height. So what's significant about this is we use what's called torch height control. Now, as for various different reasons, as the table wears out, these slats wear out, or the material has a little bit of a, a bend, or as you're cutting it, it gets warped, it, it's, it's not exactly flat. It's not truly flat. So how this works is it sends voltage down through, through the tip of this, and as it senses the voltage, it adjusts the height of the torch to keep the optimum cut height. And typically the optimum cut height is 0 0.06 of an inch, off of the material. Now this is the, like I said, the Hypertherm 45 XP and we use the machine torch. Here's the machine torch right here. Turn the torch on and off here. And on the end of the torch is another set of consumables. Now this particular set of consumables, this is the standard cut. Now the standard cut consumables consist of a shield, a nozzle, an electrode, and a swirl ring. Now, typically what, what goes bad on these is the shield and the nozzle. Whenever you replace the nozzle, you have to replace the electrode, which is this. This swirl ring uh, typically doesn't need to be replaced unless it gets cracked or something. So what happens is as the, the, this thing cuts, these parts, they wear out i.e. the name consumable and we have to replace them from time to time. Usually it depends on what we're cutting but sometimes we can get uh, like we cut we had a big cut that took five hours and five hours uh, we were able to use one set of consumables. Now it was pretty beat up at the end and we probably should have changed it sooner but those were the fine cut. And anyway I got it done. So that just screws on to the end. This slides into the floating head. And that's it, that's the torch. So we have a total of one, 
two, three, four motors that run this machine, and there's rack and pinion gears in, on, on the sides and on the back of this. This trolley, as you can see, moves back and forth. All of our wires go in this, this uh, wire track, and that's about it. It's pretty simple. One nice thing is with the machine off, we can manually move this around. Not, I, from what I understand, not all machines are like that. We can do that with ours. And it's in this, we just don't put water in here. We put a chemical, what we use is called green cut. And you add that green cut and that helps maintain the pH in the water, which helps the water from rusting, which helps if you leave a piece on there, it just, it helps everything like to maintain uh, good steel or good material and not rusting. So here's where we keep the torch, the, the torch machine, the Hypertherm 45 XP. And we've made this little mount for it, this, this box, if you will. And we've so affectionately named it the Master Blaster, and we think it's appropriate. Um, and it's vented on this both sides, as you can see, through here, and then vented on the top. Our air compressor over there, which runs, which supplies these three copper tubes. Now these tubes are done in a chain where they go down, up, and down again and they have corresponding drains on each one of those. So then it goes through this, it's a regulator filter, through our final filter, and then there's another little filter on here. And between those three and the filter that we have on the air, air compressor, we have no issues with moisture, no issues with dirt. It works really well. The 45 XP is 220, we have it, we have it plugged in here. Um, the torch cable, or the torch hose, or electrode cable comes out and we just have it strung up over our bench, or over the table, I'm sorry, and down to the torch. Now this is the workstation that controls the table. So we do all of our CAD work on Fusion 360. And once we've designed it, we've manufactured the tool path and created the G-code. The G-code goes on a jump drive and goes into this PC and then comes in here and we load our G-code. Let me just find one. And this line of code that's being loaded in here, that's the actual cut path, that's the G-code. And if you can see here, this is the, that's the cut. That's, it shows a picture of what we're cutting. And then we can control our torch. Those sounds, that's the torch moving around on the table. Once we get it to where we want, we zero out everything. That's the start of the cut. We hit regen tool path and then cycle start. And that starts the cut. Over here, this is our torch height control. This is how we, you turn it up or down depending on what you're cutting and it's all based off voltage. So like for 16 gauge, for example, we set it to 78 volts. And again, as it's cutting, it sends the voltage through the end of that torch and it's constantly adjusting the height of the torch to maintain 78 volts. And for the most part, it works pretty well. And that's it. This is Mach 3. That's what we use. Um, That's all I got. So that's it. That's a real quick overview of our table and our setup and how we do this stuff that we do. Uh, we appreciate you watching. Coming back to the channel if you haven't, so go ahead and subscribe. 
and if you have any questions or want something explained a little bit more in depth, leave a comment down below and we'll get right back to you. Thanks.